the original script was, was one of the best scripts I'd ever read. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I was honored that I was brought on to bring my sensibilities to it. And it, it was definitely a genre that I uh, love dearly. I love nothing more than monster movies and kaiju films and um, uh, alien horror movies, anything in that genre. I'm always, always interested and always on the look for and, and And it's so rare to find a original science fiction IP these days. Um, and one that was done so well and that was so focused on character. So those are the things that really attracted me to the project. And, um, you know, like I said, Duffield's script was brilliant. Um, and I was just so happy to be a part of it and bring my thing to, uh, bring my thing to it. There was definitely a, a John Hughes meets Romero kind of feel here. Um, I, I wanted, you know, I wanted a big, actual terrifying world um, I wanted an apocalypse that felt real, you know, um, uh, and, and sort of you know, Romero, his zombie world always felt very real and very actually terrifying. Um, but the, but the characters were, were, were grounded and they were dealing with it, how you would sort of deal with it. Um, so those, are, those were touchstones to me, but, but the, the tone then was very much, I mean, you know, it's impossible not to look at John Hughes when you're trying to write real teenagers, you know, when you're trying to write real emotion and real stories of transformation uh, from you know late teens, early twenties. Um, you know that there's few people who've ever done better writing in, in the space of uh, of the transition to adulthood than John Hughes. And so that was obviously a huge touchstone for us. Genres, my my world. I mean, so I, I, there's I, I've seen them all. I you know from everything from you know 1950s you know Gamora pictures to uh, you know, I mean, Alien is obviously impossible to get away from in a movie like this, and this, the world Ridley Scott built is always going to be there. Um, but yeah, I mean, kaiju movies, monster movies, alien movies, they're, those are my bread and butter. So that, that's the easy part, is dipping into that world. And just, and you know, and, and Brian did such a great job of making it feel like you could sort of take what you wanted from the genres, you know, whether it's characters with samurai swords or crossbows and you know giant monsters and and there's there's obviously you know a a, a tarantino-esque playing with you know the uh picking and choosing what you want from the world of genre cinema and, and uh having fun with it and remixing it to your needs